so exciting. If you're new to our channel, I'm Becky and this is Lloyd. Hello. So we decided to book this trip literally yesterday, <laughs> which is absolutely crazy, isn't it? It's, it's like... so super <laughs> last minute. Um, Becky was at home looking on um, the Diamond Resorts website, which is Becky's parents' timeshare points thing. Um, that we used and it came up half points Woodford Bridge where we stay came up half points and Becky called me up and was like Lloyd we've got four nights in Woodford Bridge coming up do you want to go for it and I was like yes we so need a break and I'm so looking forward to it yeah it's just so exciting so Woodford Bridge is located in well it's located in somewhere called is it Milton Damarel or something Damarel, yeah. which is um, a bit obscure but um, that is near Holsworthy which again probably a bit obscure so it's near Midford and Barnstable so it's North Devon yeah. that's probably the best way to describe it is it's North Devon yeah, what were you going to say, sorry? It's in between Biddeford and Barnstable, so it's kind of like in the middle. It's in the countryside, so it's really picturesque and lovely and just like, yeah, there's not really anything around it, is there? I mean, we'll show it to you when we're there, um, but we will probably be arriving in the dark. It, it's saying that we're going to get there about 10 o'clock, uh, so it will be quite dark when we get there. Yeah, so it's just literally, well, it's now, what time is it now? Oh, it's now quarter to seven. Um, we finished work and then we leapt in the car and oh, now we're on the road. <laughs> this is also a hire car as well. Um, I, we don't own a car and so this is again another thing. Um, Hertz Brighton opened up yesterday and I managed to book a car and we got an upgrade as well. So we paid like for a really low car and yet we're in this beastie, I don't know what it is, it's a Kia something. X, I don't know what it is, but either way, it's an upgrade and it's lovely and comfortable. So there is Stonehenge. Right, like leaning <laughs> right back. No, it's like craning his <laughs> neck just so I can get a view of Stonehenge. Crazy times. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> also, it has become incredibly sunny as yeah. we've been driving along. So it's like murky, murky as murky can be. The <laughs> murky weather. Murky Murkatron. <laughs> murky Murkatron. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was very murky. Murky, cloudy, cloudy, just not very nice. I've had my sunglasses on quite a bit, but um, I had to find Lloyd's because it just got all of a sudden really bright. I couldn't see. No, it's been crazy, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But now it seems like we're under dark and clouds now, it doesn't look like it, but we are under a really dark and cloudy. It's weird, it's like pop pockets of like sunshine. But yeah, I hope the next few days are going to be sunny and nice and warm. Like we've had really good weather here in the UK um, over the last, well, last three months really of lockdown. It's actually been amazing, hasn't it, the sun and, and like the warmth, which has been really yeah, good. Yeah, it's been like, it's been so nice. Also, I did have a quick look at the weather before we went and it is going to be sunny. There's one rainy day. Yeah. On that day, we may be venturing down to the Eden Project and that's mainly inside. Yeah. So, oh look, here's the sun. Yay. Here's the sun. Oh, here's the sun. Here it is. Look at that sunset. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Amazing. So nice. By the way, we have made pretty good time, haven't we? It's we're saying we're gonna get there at 10 to 10, which is amazing. We thought we'd get there definitely past 10. And this car keeps making a noise whenever I go over the <laughs> middle line, which is happening quite a lot because these roads are really, really small. I might have to disable that function on the car. It looks really dark, but it's because the light's quite bright. But we are here. We've arrived. Yay. So we thought we'd arrive here in the dark, but it's... It's just light. It, just. <laughs> yes, we still have light and it's like quarter to, quarter to ten. So we have made some good time. It was really weird driving through the little villages, wasn't mm, it? And they were like dead. Nobody there no at one all. at all. It's so weird. 
Um, we are in a very strange time, but um, yeah, we're looking forward to now chilling out. We're here and I need to go and get us checked in and then we'll show you our lodge. We're staying in a Yay. lodge. Which we are is feeling so quite good. tired, aren't we? <laughs> very tired and very hungry Yeah, as we still well. haven't had dinner. We're going to have a very late dinner, but yeah. we have it all prepared. Yes. So um, oh. we're all good to go. <laughs> Come on. Here comes Lloydie, face mask and all. <laughs> Yay, we all checked in. All checked in. First, road, first road trip for the mask. <laughs> well, the face covering. I just out. said that as you were walking up. Yeah, first time <laughs> I've used it. And it was all really good in there, actually. They had. Um, Would you like to um, tell me about your experience? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. They have um, a lot of markers on the floor at reception. Um, a lot of keep your meet, keep your two meters. I don't know why I'm putting this on now. I'll take it off now. Um, no, that's not the correct way to remove a face mask. Oh, sorry, it should be from the air. It's cool. <laughs> no one else was in there, and the lady was behind Perspex. Um, oh wow! So yeah, it was. Pretty... Or plexiglass, like they plexiglass. call it in America. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really nice. It was well, like well proportioned. There's lots of markings on the floor, um, the screen and she was behind the screen. They've done a lot of new um, procedures as well oh, amazing. Um, inside there so it's not a lot of paper so you're not signing and touching pens. So what did you do? Um, it's on an iPad so everything's on an iPad and she put me at ease straight away because there was a couple in just before me. I um, saw them come out. Finishing yeah. up um, and she was wiping down every, she was like I've got to wipe down every surface and she was wiping down the iPad, wiping down the, um, the keypad for the um, your card um, yeah, and, and the, the front of the desk as well. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, it, the, it couldn't be safer, really. And she also said there might be a bottle, there, there, no, there is a bottle of, um, like, antibacterial spray that we can use to clean our apartment, um, just for our own... Oh, amazing. ...cleaning. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, yeah, really, really good, um, yeah easy check-in so it's really good yay should we go get some din din I'm so hungry i was like nearly <laughs> fainting in there like, oh man oh light-headed the focus from driving on these roads because they're quite windy <laughs> oh let's go and get some food yay there we go in we go Ooh. Hey, hey. so we've unpacked everything and we're all settled in now in our lodge which we're really happy about it's all really nice and shiny you can see by the floor it's all very spick and span and really nice in here we've just reheated our dinner so it's cottage pie which is with beef mince rather than a <laughs> shepherd's pie which is lamb mince we literally just had this conversation we've got our dinner we've got some broccoli on there as well and I've got a lovely beer as well. Ah, oh, so happy to be settled. Are you? It's so nice to yeah, be here. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> next day and we're just leaving the resort now aren't we Lloyd? <laughs> yes we're going to somewhere very exciting or very exciting for me not so much for Becky um, we're going to Sharps Brewery which is very exciting they do the beer doom bar which is one of my favorites and we normally go to this shop whenever we're down this way and, um, and get some beer um, but there we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is, um, we're in unprecedented times and I'm so glad I called up before because apparently they're only doing um, like pre-arranged bought drinks. So you have to call and buy it over the phone or online and then go and pick it up. So thankfully we did that this morning to see when they were open. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for some beers. Yeah, I'm just going to apologise now for the camera angles because for some reason, when I'm filming like the, this way, so normally, this is a really random piece of information, um, so normally I turn the camera the other way to film because I'm normally sat the other side in, in America. Oh, I know yes. that sounds really bizarre when we're doing our Disney vlogs. However, this way, I'm turning the camera the other way and I'm feeling, finding it really difficult 
to see where Lloyd is. <laughs> that sounds so weird, I know, but um, but hey, I just need to put the viewfinder down and then we can work that a little bit better. Anyway, um, yeah, as Lloyd said, we're off to the brewery. We have been working all morning, um, which is which is fun <laughs> um, yeah and then we got ready and now we're on the road again and it's about two o'clock now so um yeah it's uh, a little bit later on but yeah we're hopefully going to get to this brewery about 10 past three um and then come back up this way and i don't know what we're going to do this afternoon we're kind of just playing it by ear we're just going to see what happens see what's what's what see what's open because i don't know, really know how much is open down here either so We'll see. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy but things are finally right you and I here's my order i've got a little cask there that's really lovely and then a bag of 12 beers which is very exciting they sanitize this trolley so it's all good now we've got to get it in the car <laughs> It means tourism is good, but equally, I mean, not it's so good, good for the if, economy, isn't it? But, but not so good if people are travelling in. And we just thought, you know, it's probably not best that we that we got out and, and added to that because, yeah, it was very, very busy and it's quite a small place as well. Um, but we're now going to go on to uh, Bude, which I think may well be the same but it's a bigger space and there's lots of lots more roads and things so I think there'll be a, it'll be a lot more spread out whereas literally that was just one thoroughfare through also the great thing about Bude is if it's open they do um, gluten free pasties there they have a place that does gluten free pasties so hopefully we'll be able to grab one and also oh. There's more. <laughs> and more <laughs> there is more. And also they do gluten free scones as well. Oh yeah. So we could take them home and do like a homemade oh. cream tea rather than going Yay. out to a cafe. <laughs> yeah. Yay, let's do that. lovely treats, lovely pasties and scones. So we're back at the lodge now. Uh, we went via Morrison's and we picked ourselves up some little snacks for this evening. Yay. So we just sat out on our little, what would you call it? It's like a, it's not really a terrace. It's not really a terrace or a balcony. It's just like really? a paved area that's <laughs> kind of, our balcony, our doors, not balcony, our doors are like there. Yeah, I'll show you. That's our doors. And then out here you've got like chairs table and the snacks my water there's Lloyd's beer <laughs> the snacks um, and I've discovered these which are amazing oh. um, they're by Shah is that how you say it? I think so I don't know I'm sure <laughs> someone might know um, and they're called Curvies and they're gluten free Pringles and they taste just like Pringles don't they? 
if someone was to give me a taste test, I wouldn't know the difference. Except these are saltier, which actually I prefer. Um, they taste like chip shop chips. They do. Yeah, that's the taste. They're amazing. They're really, really nice. There's loads of peacocks around on this resort. And that one's just, you know, casually chilling on the chimney stack, as you do. I, I don't even know how they got up there. It's pretty high. Do they, do they fly? I don't know. That's a question. Do peacocks fly? Who knows? <laughs> so we're about to have our scones that we got earlier. I'm just going to pop mine in the microwave. In he goes. What do you think? Like 30 seconds? I think so. Yeah. All right. Maybe even a bit We'll give less. it a go. Maybe even a little less. Oh, there we go. Now I'm a bit sad because mine isn't a fruit one. They'd run out of the fruit ones. They were getting ready to close, I think, when we when we got there. I think so. they closed at five and we were there just after half four, so. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, it's ready. Let's see if that's long enough. Oh yes. Perfect. Yes. He's warm. Oh, stop prodding it with your oh, naughty sorry. hands. Naughty hands. <laughs> How you wash them? Of course. <laughs> okay, pop yours in them. Yeah. Seen a bit again. Getting told off. <laughs> there we go, we've got some cutting action. Oh, it's quite hot. Yeah, I told you. Now you're putting your fingers away for it. I've washed my hands. <laughs> and it's my scone. <laughs> oh no, it's a bit crumbly. Oh, well, gluten free. We can cope. I'm so rude. We can cope with that. <laughs> We're going to use some tasty and bomb man man. Yeah, we went a bit posh when we went shopping. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> One more try, then it's your go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, happy. Hey! I'm going to do both ways. What? So in being unbiased, because we have been to Cornwall today and we have been to Devon. So we are in Devon. Yeah, but so. that's not the right way to do it. With um, with the cream first, it's got to be jam first. But I don't think there is a right way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't even go there. What is your way of doing it? Is it jam, then cream, or cream, then jam? Let I'm us know. Day. Yeah, let us know. It, to be honest, there's literally only one way for me, and that's jam. It's got to be sticky, you've got to have a sticky base to put the cream on. Oh, we'll see, won't we? Oh, now I don't really like this crust either. What, the clotted cream? Like the so we, <laughs> we went and got Rodder's clotted cream as so well. I'm just going to scrape away the crusty bit and oh, then you can no, have oh, more crusty. That's like the best bit. Well, you don't can scrape extra. it away. Oh dear. Oh man. So I'm not going to lie, it definitely looks better <laughs> if you start with the jam. Um, however, I've done both ways and it's probably not going to taste any different, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Oh, and by the way, Lloyd is watching the football. It's yes. currently on adverts. Are we winning? Come on. Brighton are going to be safe. We're going to do it. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Brighton are going to be safe from relegation. Oh, well, I hope so. We'll be, have a happy Lloyd then. <laughs> We're 1-0 up, so it should be good. So it's the next day, we're now on Friday. We've been working again all morning and I just thought I'd make a spot of lunch. Lloyd's still working just there. How do I do it? With my <laughs> there we go, there. <laughs> Um, yes, so today we're having some Cornish pasties, which we got yesterday, which I'll just show you now. So here they are. Here's my one, which is gluten-free, nicely separated from the glutinous one, which is Lloyd's, which is very exciting about. The big fat one. It is a big one. <laughs> yeah, it was a large one, wasn't it? It, it was, was yeah. It didn't just go for like standard, he went for large. And we've both you got the same. Me to go for <laughs> I did. Don't, don't I did don't. encourage. I did encourage this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop these in the oven, and we're going to have it with a bit of salad. So here is our finished lunch. It sounds like I made the pasty. I didn't. <laughs> um, and here's Lloyd's. Yours looks so golden. It is amazing. It smells so good. Oh, I can't wait. Wait a long time to have a 
proper Cornish pasty. Yay. <laughs> and we're having a twisted strawberry diet cake as well. Mm. Yay. So an update on the peacocks. There's two up there today. So we've decided to come to the outlet. They're called Affinity Outlets. Yeah. And it's got like the usual stuff, mainly Gap. Gap outlet, yeah. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll find something. I think the last time we went was in America and we didn't find anything, did we? No, it's definitely slim pickings in yeah. in the deals and stuff that they had. And we, the, the clothes that we normally go for weren't there and things like no, that. So so weird. So we'll, we'll see what's here. Um, we're probably not going to film inside because we don't want to be like touching the camera. And then you know we just want to we just want to keep everything like as clean as possible, um, yes. as you can imagine. So we're, <laughs> but we'll let you know about our experience once we've been in. So we finished at the outlets, and we didn't really get too much, did we? Mm. Like? It wasn't very good. Again, there just wasn't much in Gap and mm. don't know what's going on with Gap at the moment but I don't think it is my favourite shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you got a few things didn't you? I did yeah I got a... Um, Not a few things like two. I got a pair of shorts <laughs> from Gap um, and a jumper from Salt Rock which we thought had actually closed um, at this outlet but it hadn't. Oh and also there used to be an M&S outlet. Yeah and that's it's gone. gone. That's no more and that's make, that makes us very sad. <laughs> because uh, we used to pick up all the bargains in there and we also just had another fail as well yeah so if you can see over there there is a Starbucks you can't really see it so well over here um, and we normally go to the outlet and then go and get a drive through Starbucks and it's closed we're currently in the queue for McDonald's drive through um, I haven't had a McDonald's in ages. Yeah, we're not going to eat because no. we had our pasty and that was like very filling. I'm still full actually, are you? I'm pretty full, although the lure of McDonald's <laughs> now, I'm like, oh, I could get some, some fries. But no, I'm, I'm no, not we'll really. we be good, we need to be good. Well, look, people are leaving <laughs> Starbucks, look, staff are leaving Starbucks, so they, they must have been oh. open today. And they've closed, that's annoying. Oh um, no. Yeah, or up. have they gone in for training? training. Like, because they're opening, you know, because you need extra training at the moment, don't you? Yeah, true. Um, to know how to do all the social distance and stuff. So, oh, we're nearly there. Who oh, no. knows? Yeah, I think I might just get a, um, I don't a know milkshake what to get. or something. A milkshake? Yes, I don't know what I'm like. Oh, I don't know. I definitely don't want a milkshake because it'll just give me stomach ache. <laughs> Oh, so, no, don't get a then. so I don't want that. Um, oh, I might just get a diet coke. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, an Ooh. ice cream. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I'll let you know once we're there. <laughs> Can I help you? Could I please get a medium diet coke? Yeah, anything else for you? And a medium chocolate milkshake. And a medium chocolate shake. Anything else for you? That's all. Thank you. Oh, right, so that's two sixty-eight. If you could check that's correct and make your way to the first window for me, please. Thank you. Yes. So it's not quite a green tea latte, which I was hoping for, oh. but it is a McDonald's Diet Coke, so it will literally have to do. How is your milkshake, Lloyd? It's good. <clears throat> I haven't had a milkshake in so, so long. Mm. Nice. Yeah, pretty good. So I just realised we didn't really talk about our trip to the outlet. I mean, it was literally dead in there, wasn't it? There was oh, like yeah. hardly any people in there. There's nobody in there. Um, uh, quite a few of the shops were still not open mm. and some had closed at four. And so it was around about five that we, well, maybe about half four we were in there. So. I think we got there at four. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> most of the shops are closed and yeah, wasn't really doing much to be honest. Yeah, I mean, everyone just seems to like keep away from each other don't they yeah there's lots of antibacterial gel in yeah. every shop so we literally put some on in every shop and we went to asda as well and the asda antibac gel smelled like oh. food it was, it was weird it was literally hideous <laughs> 
Like Lloyd pumped out like half thick onto <laughs> I just his hands. Had to squidge once. No, it was, it was like it was quite a lot. It was it was a big squidge. I think <laughs> because um, it was having a few problems, and then I think it built up, and then it was like. <laughs> We've literally found a really beautiful place. We're at Heartland Key. It's like a restaurant and a hotel and bar down here. But look at this, this is just beautiful. Decided we're gonna go for a little, only a little walkie. Just a little one. <laughs> it's nice to get out the car and stretch our legs. And the weather has changed. It's really cloudy. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. But it's supposed to rain all night, isn't it? And then oh. it'd be nice, like, after, I think after 10 tomorrow, so... That's good, because we... Hopefully the sun yeah. will come out. We're going to need a project, I think what you said. Yeah. Um, so... I want it to be nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. So cool. These cliffs are just amazing. like bar is down there and the other side over here is just as nice amazing oh, so, nice. so tranquil we're working for swimming the other side they're mad and speak hot and into the view that is not for me <laughs> yeah it has got a bit chillier Whew. yeah so we're currently just heading across what was it called Balestone Moor Balestone Moor yeah we had to go over a catwalk grid. Wow. So there's like wild It's animals. exciting times for Beckett Lloyd. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> so we had such a lovely little time in Heartland Quay, didn't we Lloyd? It was so, it's just so really nice to be by the sea and get some sea air. <laughs> Although we do live in Brighton, but it's, it's different. I don't know why, it's, it's probably a bit cleaner. <laughs> um, but it was just so nice and the views are just amazing. Yeah, can't um, recommend going there enough. It's just so nice and so peaceful. It's really lovely. And had we had more time, we probably would have had a drink. You can have a drink and stuff outside by the by the cliffs and stuff. So it is lovely. And if it's a nice hot day, I'd imagine it's pretty amazing. But all the time that we've all the times that we've come, it's a bit rocky. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of potholes. Um, all the times that we've gone there, it's been cold and like cloudy, and so we've never really stayed too long. Um, yeah, it, I, I'd imagine it is pretty amazing when the sun's out. So we've come back to our lodge, <laughs> greeted by a load of peacocks. Oh look, look, he's so close. Hello. Better not get in the way. Hello, I'll Mr. Peacock. To... Oh, he's <laughs> nice. He's so colourful. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday morning, and we are now off to the Eden Project. So, as Lloyd said, we're off to the Eden Project today, which we're so excited about. Uh, we've been there before, but we thought we'd have a, another visit, and also at this time, just to see what it's like. We got our tickets from Tesco Club Card, so we converted some points. So we're going practically for absolutely free. Obviously, you collect points by buying your shopping and things, but yay! So, <laughs> so we're going for free, which is amazing. Yeah. You excited, Lloyd? I'm very excited. Yeah, um, we're not quite sure of the situation of wearing like face coverings or anything like that because it's not very clear on the website. But because we know they have a lot of insider kind of elements, um, so. We're going to play by ear, we're going to take our face coverings with us, aren't we, and see whether we need them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just kind of play it by ear and see what it's all about. So in order to get into the Eden Project as well today, we had to book a slot. So we chose, <laughs> typical Becky Lloyd, uh, we chose 12. 
Um, we're currently going to arrive at 12.17, but on the website it says that you can have half an hour, so we've got between 12 and 12.30 to arrive, is that right? Yeah, that's Or is that to go into the biome? No, 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 that's literally arrival at the entrance, and that is your entrance time to the whole of the Eden Project. And then we can uh, stay in there for as long as you want, so if you wanted to make a full day of it, you can um, get entry at like, say, 9 o'clock. Um, and then you get entrance for the whole day, it's not like you're timed in there. Um, you, you get access to closing, which for us I think is 5 or 5.30 today. Yeah, something like that. I think they're just thinking that people would stay about three hours. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't, it just wasn't busy at all. Like when we, when we went to book, there were like all the slots available. So, so it's a bit bumpy <laughs> on the roads. Um, yeah, all the slots were available. So it's not busy. It's not like, I think we also looked on a few other sites, um, like the, like Alton Towers and Chessington Thought Park and things like that. And it was so much more busy, but I suppose that's more for families and yeah. families are needing something to do, I imagine right now, because it's, yeah, it's been quite a long time since they've been able to go out and stuff, so. And then limited capacities as well with all the different things. They're obviously having to make sure that they're complying. And I mean, Eden Project's very different. I think a lot of it is outside, like I said. So I think that we probably will be okay. Um, so yeah, I can't, I mean, even last time we went to the Eden Project, there was hardly anyone there. It was, we could walk around and we didn't, see anyone really did we so <laughs> no and it's a one-way system around it we'll show you guys how it's gonna be so you can see so we are arriving to a very empty so road <laughs> which is really good um feels like me with confidence <laughs> how about you Lloyd yeah We'll see how busy the car park is because that'll yeah. be a sure sign as to what's going on. But yeah, there's no cars coming down this way. I think we saw one car coming out, and that was it. So yeah, this could be a very quiet day. Oh, there's a car behind me now. Oh, exciting! Oh, exciting <laughs> times. <laughs> so here's the car park, and there are quite a few cars here. But there are multiple car parks. Yeah, there are. The site. Yeah, when it gets really busy, there's like. Yeah, it can get really busy here, can't it? And be packed. So, this is just one zone. Yay. It's a little bit of a walk down, isn't there? <laughs> Don't fall over. over. Oh, darling. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's a little bit of a walk to get to the, the main centre. Also, we are aware that there is damage to our camera. So, you're seeing a speck of dust just there which is very annoying it happened when we were in Epcot and I dropped the camera and ever since then it's had an annoying mark on it I'm gonna try and fix it I'll do my best <laughs> look at him playing his drum <laughs> so we're coming up to the first sanitation station looks like the hand sanitizer before we go in. They've also gone cashless as well. Keep people safe. So they've got quite a queue of people waiting. That's good, keeping safe. They've definitely made it like one way system. They've blocked <laughs> off different ways. But these are the biomes where they have the different, what would you call it, different climates really in there. So they've got like the Mediterranean -y one, I think, in there. And that's where like there's really hot, like tropical. But we're going to go down and explore that. But yeah, so nice. And it's actually quite warm, even though the sky looks really grey. It is very warm today. And so, yeah, continues this way. Such a nice view from up here. Look at that. Amazing. So we're gonna take the wild Cornwall route. Wild. <laughs> so we've just come to see some little bees oh, man. doing their thing. Currently six, it's a bit of reflection. 
uh, that made it better. <laughs> Get rid of the glass, dude. The Light bees up. are there. <laughs> Man, Making horrible. their honey. Ooh. It's not horrible, they're alright bees. No, I'm scared of bees. We rescued a bee the other day, Lloyd. We did, one flew in our bedroom and I rescued it. We gave, gave it him... some sugar water. Yeah. <laughs> that was like really early on a Sunday morning as well. Like, what time was it? It's like 7 a.m. or something, wasn't it? On a Sunday. Not good. This really is the wild route. <laughs> Your t shirt looks really cool. <laughs> It's a really good lighting. <laughs> I want to get back to Florida. Aww. Like, this isn't too bad, though, to be honest. We've seen a few people in Disney t shirts, which is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is to us. <laughs> it's just like your hair in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, it's probably more like mine at the moment. My <laughs> wild hair. My lockdown locks are still going. <laughs> Need to get the cut actually. <laughs> so they've set up a queuing system for the biomes. So all these little feet, social distancing. And they've got someone up there saying whether you can go in or not. Wow. Make sure we sanitize our hands. So a different entrance that we'd normally come into. Oh, we're going in. Yeah, so that's the normal way we would have come in and come, gone all the way up and round here. But journey continues round here. Don't think you can go in the huts and things like that that are set up in here anymore. But this is a nice little route. Off we go. And turning up left is the aerial walkway. Yay! That's cool up there. I think you can get to the very top one today. And the cool room is also closed. That was a nice place to cool off last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too hot in here though, is it? So no. I think it's actually warmer outside. It's a bit. It's quite humid. Well, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Whoa, it's, whoa. it's a bit rocky on here. <laughs> Do you enjoy that? So much fun. <laughs> so, if the camera, what you're seeing looks a bit different, it's because we've forgotten the camera battery. Oh, Lloyd. <laughs> so amateur. I left it in, the, it's in a bag. We in brought it with us, yeah. but the car's so far away. Oh man, so yeah, we have to walk all the way back up the one-way system, back up to the top, and then get out to the car, which is probably another 10 minutes away. So we're going for phone. Oh well. Um, the reason I'm filming this is because the Rainforest Lookout is closed. Sad times. We've never done this. No. Maybe it one day. Last time, wasn't it? <laughs> it was too hot when we were here last time. Yeah. So it has to be a kind of consistent temperature and a safe temperature for you to be up there. Yeah. Sad times. It is pretty hot in here. I'm sweating. It is warm. <laughs> oh, bananas. They like on a pulley system. <laughs> Weird. So this is the next biome, the Mediterranean one. And again, they've got the sanitizer station out. So we're gonna have a squidge of that and then go in this one. So it must have a similar climate. It was also California, which oh, did make it? me a bit sad. Oh, <laughs> California. Yeah. Oh, we will go there. We still have plenty of time, though, hopefully. <laughs> It's a 
Becky found the perfect Instagram wall. <laughs> and I took a picture. Yeah. <laughs> and that will definitely be on Instagram. So if you're not yet following us on Instagram, the link is coming up on the screen right now. So lunchtime is here. <laughs> By the way, this is like a beautiful shot. You've like got the flowers beside you and behind you. You're totally going to have to take a picture of yeah. it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, whoa, what's that? <laughs> Many bugs here. Um, so we've got lunch and we've got a pizza. We ordered a pizza over in the, a bit over there. Is it called the cafe? <laughs> the cafe in between the two biomes, which is just down there. Yeah. Yeah, it's really easy to do. So we, and they do gluten free. So yes. Amazing. So we've got a gluten free margarita pizza to share. Um, I had to cut it up myself because it's gluten free. Yeah. Probably cross contamination and all that. Yeah. Um, Oh, yay. I've got a beer. What beer is it? What is it actually called? The Eden Pale Ale, which is exclusive to the Eden Project. And I've got a Elderflower Cornish Orchards. It's nice. one in Cornwall. Yeah, indeed. Let's see this pizza and do the honours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sweet. It is very sweet. It looks nice. All right, Hello. let's tuck in. So after our lovely lunch, we're coming into Invisible Worlds again. Nice hand sanitizer station. Ooh, what the heck is this? Is this strange? Did not expect this to be in here. What is it? We're moving into the Japanese garden. Big old butterfly sculpture up there. Overlooking the biomes. So we're just leaving the Eden Project now. We had such a nice walk around. It's just really nice to be be out and about, mm. isn't it? And amongst the crowds again, we were saying on Although the way back the crowds up, weren't bad, it was no. just amongst people it's more, isn't That's it? That's true, yeah. I think because we haven't been near groups of people since February when we were in Disney. So it's just so weird to, to be amongst people again mm. and having to now think about social distancing <laughs> with large groups of people is quite it's quite difficult so we had something really exciting happen to us while we were there mm. we paid with tesco club card uh, vouchers which i think i already said and with that you don't get the annual membership pass so normally when you go in you pay i think it's 2850 each and then you get membership for the year however you don't get that when you pay with tesco club card vouchers however on the on the till on the yeah. as you go in the person the serving us yeah. um knew who we were which is really lovely a fellow disney vlogger um we'll link his channel below um yeah he was like he messaged us and said that he knew us and if he wanted to come back he'd be able to give us membership for the year so that's just so amazing um so yeah so thank you simon for that that's so lovely of you and we'll definitely be back because we love it there it's just it's just such a lovely place just to have a walk around he was saying that the gardens had just been open and not the biomes the biomes opened on the 4th of july and uh yeah it's been less busy than normal but, but it's just been yeah it's just been great to have it open so so yeah, so I'd recommend going there if you're down this way um, and so, yeah, go and say hello to Simon. So we decided to go across the small stretch of water on the ferry that takes you from Foy, Foy? Foy. Foy to Lou. Lou. And Lou is a place where I used to always go on holiday.
on a day with my family. So I just thought we'd go there. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the lovely water. That house over there is amazing. That looks like a billionaire's mansion. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I thought you meant that one there. That looks what, like... A dog. <laughs> <laughs> The dock's also amazing, however, look at that house, that's so, so nice. Really nice the camera isn't doing it justice, it's so nice. Oh, I think we're going. Yeah. Getting closer to the Millionaire's Mansion. Off we go. Oh, it's so nice. It does feel a little bit sketchy though. A little it does, bit sketchy? Yeah, like, we're just in the car free-floating vessel that's like... Is it free-floating? Well, yes, it feels like it. Aww. It's not a chain. It could be. I'm not quite sure. Either way, it's pretty sketchy. <laughs> There's a better view of the house with a beautiful boat going past. So nice. Could you got, imagine living there? They've got like a little boat in dock thing into yeah, the sea, like so load nice. it up, yeah. put it down the roller coaster. The roller coaster. Then see it goes. You'd want to go on it, wouldn't you, while it's going down there? Don't That'd know, be amazing. I don't know where to be honest. It'd be like a ride. <laughs> So we're just here in Lou and we've got some tea and coffees. But Cornish that, tea. That is special. That is Cornish, Cornish tea. Cornish tea trading company. Ah. And you've got Americano, haven't you? That's probably Cornish coffee, to be fair. Possibly. Yeah. We've got a very nice tea. Yeah, we just sat out. Perched. <laughs> perched on a wall, quite precariously. If we were to fall, it would hurt. And there's the beach. It is absolutely lovely. We've just checked out of our apartment as we're going home today. Sad times. I feel like this needed to be longer, to be honest, this trip. I feel like we should have taken all week. But it's very typical with our work at the moment, with both our, our jobs. So we were <laughs> having to do a bit of work there. But, you know, it's just the way. It's just the way. We, we, we have something in the pipeline, but I'm not going to reveal anything yet. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we are on our way now. We're going to go along the Dorset Coast. It's the Dorset Coast, isn't it? Yeah. Like the Jurassic Coast, I think it's called. We're going to go that way home. Jurassic World. No, not Jurassic World. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they should do a park. Have you ever, have you ever thought? Because it's the Jurassic Coast. What? They could do like a park along there, like to do dinosaurs and stuff. That what, would be like, amazing. And like have the, like... Jurassic World feel like in Universal. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Go and pitch it to them. Um, we are apparently getting a Paramount, Paramount, Paramount Park. Yeah, so that's going to be in like the in Kent, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Near there. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going along the Dorset coast to have a look. We get, our first stop is going to be Lyme Regis, and then we'll um, go on from there. So. Yeah. <laughs> Long journey home. It's going to take about four hours and a half, I think, from where we were. Four hours and a half. Four and a half hours. <laughs> four, four hours and a half. <laughs> Don't forget the half. ever that guy's got a dog on his back look at that that is amazing 